the American dream, the perfect way of life and concept. Work your whole life and contribute to society, a society that is divided, a society that upholds 1% of its population like New Age kings, a society that convinces you anyone can make it, anyone can be that 1%, but in reality they will do anything to keep the rest down for their gain. Money is power and the systems in place uphold a social norm that many believe they must obey. For those who don't obey are those who do not deserve to be here. They are radical scum that want to see the world burn. The people are so focused on keeping their freedoms written on a piece of paper 200 years ago that they don't realize that they were never there to begin with. We are puppets in a greater scheme with a purpose to work, boost the economy, Make money. Don't live life to the fullest or think outside the box because you won't make it. You won't survive the test of life. Everything is a distraction from the truth. The people are bound by their own ideals and an internal war rages on. A forever burning fire fueled by hate for another belief. The people are divided by politics, forced to choose from two opposing sides while we fight the politicians act. While we are distracted by internal affairs, we are blind to the effects our modern day imperialism has on the world. Occupy and spread fear in the Middle East for opium and oil, and we wage war to protect our freedom, they say. We exploit the workforce of Asia because it's cheap labor, yet we have no regard for their safety and well-being. We call South America underdeveloped when we overexploit their land, their land which is rich in resources, yet the people are poor. And when they try to take back their means of production, our politicians fund coup d'etats and put dictators in power. fund wars and justify them with quote unquote spreading democracy. But the truth is America is no democracy. We use that word to make our wrongdoings feel right. We let our presidents get away with heinous acts as if it preserves the American way of life. Democrat or Republican, we are in the wrong and blindly follow our politicians as if they didn't weasel their way to the top. We put them on a pedestal that they don't deserve. Their job is only to preserve the workings of the country and feel the idea of patriotism. To be a patriot, you must conform and respect authority, even when they show time and time again that they couldn't care less about the people. We are just vessels to feel their reach of power. country is the primary aggressor towards its people, the enslavement of black people and their continued segregation after, the unspoken genocide of the native peoples of this land and the continued erasure of their culture following. That is just the tip of the iceberg with many more mistreatments throughout its history. We have been indoctrinated from a young age to believe that we are the best country, that the past is the past and it should be forgotten. The system has clearly been flawed since the beginning. America doesn't run on freedom and liberty, it runs on fear and loathing. It's the people's duty to blindly fund and support the atrocities America enacts within the homeland and to the rest of the world. The American dream isn't a beautiful thing. It is ugly, tainted by blood, cruelty, and greed. America, the home of the manipulative and the manipulated.